Hello, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new to my channel. I'm Shelly and I'm a full-time reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay. And if you want to check out any of my stores to see items that I'm listing or how I'm pricing, um, items I'm finding, you can find me under Shelbel Posh everywhere as well as on Instagram and here on YouTube. And today we are at Savers, so we're going to go in there, hopefully get some thrift footage and be able to find some good items to resell. So yeah, let's go ahead and get in there. First in the shoes, I found this pair of Sorrel sandals, but I ended up passing on them due to comps and just going out of sandal season. And then I also saw this pair of Sam Edelman like loafers and comps were kind of all over the place so I ended up passing on those as well because I wasn't too sure about the color and then I thought this piece was interesting it is beach lunch lounge which I do pick up occasionally at the bins but this actually had a Walmart tag on it for only $23 so I thought that was an interesting find um, I did not know that brand was sold at Walmart so I might not be picking that brand up as much anymore maybe occasionally still if it's a really good piece at the bins um, and then I spotted this new tag American Eagle dress but it was a little bit high priced and also going into fall and winter I'm looking more for um, midi and maxi length dresses and I saw this seven for all mankind dress but that is not really a brand I pick up especially not in like anything besides their jeans and only a few styles of their jeans I will pick up anyway and then I did put this Lily Pulitzer dress into my cart but I do end up passing on it I did a reverse Google image search on it to see if it was a more like rare print or a more sought after print or anything but it was not so I did end up passing on that but I do look it up later and then I'm also going to be showing you everything I ended up passing on so the first item is a hoodie from the brand girlfriend collective and this just had really low comps so I did pass on that and then this is a newer tag anthropology pilcro blouse but I just passed on that due to it not being a super exciting piece and then this is a new with tag athleta swimsuit top it was a little bit older and since I did not have the matching bottoms I did pass on that and then I'm going to be showing you some heels these are Kate Spade and I did like the style of these but the sole was kind of coming up in a few spots so I did leave those behind and then this is a free people intimately um, bodysuit and the strap was actually messed up it was like torn and it was just on there with a bobby pin so I did pass and this is a new to me brand it was new with tag sold at um, intermix and sold at anthropology as well and I actually was able to get some reception and this dress was already on Poshmark new with tags and most of them were around like 35 to 50 so I did pass and then here's that little Blitzer dress which I like I said I passed on but it was a cute print if it was a little bit cheaper maybe I would have picked it up but it was strapless so that was another reason I left it behind and then this pair or this J. Crew skirt was really cute and I would have picked it up it was a newer piece but it did have some stains on it and then a pair of aloe and athleta pants and I just passed on those due to wear and comps so here's those athleta pair I am back from a thrifting at Savers, so I'm going to do the haul for you. I didn't get a ton of stuff. Um, I went to the Marlboro one, um, and I don't know. I've been there a few times, and I have found really good stuff at it before, but this time was just not really a great trip. Um, but hopefully you enjoyed some of that thrift with me footage and seeing some of the items that I am passing on um, just, you know, due to whatever. But I'm going to show you what I did grab um, this actually came out right at the end when I was about to check out I was putting a couple things back and this is a Madewell top and also since I just got back I will show you the prices since I haven't photographed anything yet and this is Madewell and it's a size small it was $8.29 and it is this really pretty linen button down blouse and this I am actually going to try on. It's really cute. If I don't like it though, I will sell it. But I thought that was a really cute piece. 
and I was happy to find it right when I was about to check out and it's from summer 20 so also a pretty recent piece and then next I found this sports bra and there is a couple marks on here but I'm thinking I can get them out I feel like if I just use um, like even maybe a baby wipe these might come out um, but this is from Athleta it is new with tags so that's why I don't want to wash it but I do think that the couple marks will come off um, this was $12.99 and it retailed for $89 is a 32 um, double D and it's a really nice sports bra there's that and next piece this brand I've sold a couple things from this brand before it's honey love and it has a pretty high retail this is a pair of like shapewear kind of um, not shorts but I mean they're kind of like shapewear underwear I guess you could say um, but yeah 3x these were $7.29 and I looked up comps for this style and it looks like they're anywhere from like 35 to like 50 ish so that was definitely um, a good enough price for me to pick those up and then the next piece is this is Her Universe, um, Disney, and Pixar, and this is a size 3, which I'm pretty sure is 3X, and this is a skirt, and it has all of the Toy Story characters on here, so I thought that was cute. Her Universe doesn't retail for a ton, but I have sold um, some of it in the past, and this only was, oops, this was only $4.99, so with my coupon it wasn't, I had a 20% off coupon. Um, so this was a pretty decent deal I thought so I grabbed that I really like selling Disney stuff and then it also has some pockets in there and then next up is this pair of jeans these are Levi's and this is um, a 501 pair that is part of the Levi's premium line so the little bit more expensive line and there's actually two pairs of these but the other pair was like Ten, I want to say and this one was only $5.79 so I picked up this pair and they're kind of a nice medium wash and they're in a size 28 a little bit of distressing and a raw hem and they're in good condition and everything so I figured I'd pick these ones up since they were a good price and I have sold um, some 501s recently I've been picking up more Levi's recently to, try, to like try some um, styles out. I do find them um, mostly at the bend so yeah we'll see how this pair does but I think they'll do pretty well especially coming into fall and then this is I think the last clothing piece yes so this is a pair of shorts and these are Patagonia baggies and looking at these they are the shorter inseam ones these were $6.99 but that was pretty decent I think these retail at like they've gone up because I bought a pair for myself a couple years ago and I only want to say I paid like 50 ish but I feel like now they're like almost 60 or something um, but these are size medium if I didn't say pretty blue color and they're in good condition so hopefully these do decent they used to do like super well the vintage ones do the best I would say if you find the vintage like Patagonia baggies those do really well um, so I would definitely pick those ones up. I would just depending on price you're paying baggies usually do pretty well for me They used to do like super well like they would sell so quick even if they didn't sell for like a ton um, But they've been a little bit of a slower mover for me, but I thought that was a good pair being like a size medium and just like a nice blue Okay, and then I found two bags. So this first bag is this um, leather croc embossed bag and the brand is Brahmin and I have sold this brand I want to say once or twice before um, but I'm pretty sure this one is authentic I thought there was like some tag in here or something but now but I could not find like a little tag in here so I'm hoping this is authentic my reception at that um, savers is like horrible so I couldn't I literally couldn't even look anything up 
Um, I was able to look up a few things at the very end, like right by the front door. Um, and this one I didn't have time to look up, but I'm pretty sure it's authentic. But Ramen is a very expensive brand and they're mostly known for like their faux croc embossed leather. I think this was a good bag too, going into fall, like a nice brown with some gold accents. And yeah, so we'll see. Hopefully this is authentic and it's all good. Um, this was $10.99, which I thought was pretty decent because they had like some, I don't know, random like old Michael Kors marked up and like some old Kate Spade marked up a lot. And this is in good condition, like, I don't see, like, any issues really, so I grabbed that, and as long as this is authentic and all good, this will do really well. So, I have an update on this Brahmin bag. It actually is fake, so I wish I had better reception in that. Savers, I just, like, seriously have, like, no reception in the whole store. Um, but even if I had looked at the two that I have previously sold on my own Poshmark, I would have known immediately it was fake, but I don't know. I haven't sold it in a while, so. But I wanted to tell you a couple things that you can um, look at to ensure if ones that you are thrifting are real or fake. So first, this actual Brahmin little plate here. It says established date, and then on the just regular on the real Brahmins, it just says Brahmin. It doesn't have the established date on there. And then the interior, it is not um, a, I think it was leather interior, but it also is supposed to have Brahmin spell out throughout on the interior fabric. So that's another um, way to tell it is fake. And I'm trying to think what else was there. Um, and then they also should have a little tag in here somewhere. It's like a little black tag. I will insert a photo of that so you can see what that looks like, but that should also be in here. And then on like poles and stuff, it should say Brahmin. So yeah, I think that's about it for this, but I am going to try to return it. Um, it does say you can do exchanges within 14 days, so... I'll just get to a savers, um, you know, within a couple weeks and exchange it for something else. Hopefully it was $10.99 and then minus my 20%. Um, but I will use that money to find something else to sell. So yeah, just a little heads up for all of you. And hopefully that helps a little bit if you are finding a Brahmin bag to check out if it is real or fake. And then the last thing is another bag and this is a little sling bag from Kavu and this one's actually new with tags which is awesome so there is that um the price tag is ripped off of here oh cool it comes with a little sticker that's really fun so yeah I've sold these a few times they always do well and this one's only $6.99, which I thought was a really good price, especially for it being new with tags. And yeah, here's that fun pattern. And this, I'm trying to think, they, I usually sell them at least for like $35, maybe a little bit more. I don't remember the retail price off the top of my head, but they do well. So I grabbed that and I was pretty excited to find that. I looked at bags. That was bags were the last things that I actually looked at. Um, so I'm really happy I actually went over it into the bags. I almost didn't because I was kind of like done thrifting already because I was there for like maybe two and a half hours and I just wasn't finding a lot. As you can see, my haul is pretty small. And so yeah, but I'm happy I went and checked the bags out because I found really two really good ones that will do really well. And that is this whole haul. I know it's a little bit of a smaller haul, but hopefully, you enjoyed getting to see some thrifting and everything like that and thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you are not already subscribed and you can also click the little bell notification next to the subscribe button and that will notify you whenever i post a new video i post at least once a week usually twice a week and i will see you in my next video bye